Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Don't you like when uh, friends get together <laughs> after some time? Well, this is what's happening right now in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. After the last meeting between uh, uh, Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince uh, Mohammed bin Salman and uh, the President of Turkey, uh, Tarif, uh Erdogan, 2018, uh, they froze their uh, little uh, friendship and uh, um, good collaboration um, because of the Kasoji's uh, murder in um, uh, Saudi Arabia's consulate in uh, Ankara, right? Or it was in, uh, in uh, Turkey. So um, it seems like uh, their relationship it was strained for what four years uh now it's uh going to be back uh where they left it at in the location and position and it seems like that murder of an uh, saudi arabian uh who had uh, uh u.s residency um creates such a an international uh situation uh, that uh, these two countries had to uh, pretend they did not talk for four years. Um, let me redo this article and it's coming from uh, Insider from April 28th, 2022 by Bill Bostock. And the uh, title is Turkey's president is visiting Saudi Arabia for the first time since 2018, showing he's moved on from Jamal Khashoggi's, or Khashoggi's brutal murder for good. Well, uh, this is how it is. Look at this world as a schoolyard. And in a schoolyard, you have gangs. And each gang uh, functions in the same, uh, in the same way. As a leader, it has its uh, uh, generals, it has its army, it has its spies, and it has people who bounce in between. And maybe some are little ones that are, you know, you can put them in a really group. So here, uh, in a, right now, sometimes, let's say you have two groups, three groups, one group. Let's say you have two groups, and then the leader of one group uh, goes to prison and then comes back, you know, that group is weak. So then... Uh, this group that has the leader is going to take over the other one or is going to, you know, take care of the other guys um, until this, the leader of that group is going to come back from prison. But that guy is going to wear a tether at his ankle. So he has to behave. He has, you know, he's a felony or whatever he's got. So until he gets rid of that, he has to be a little bit more restrained. And the other club, the other team is going to do whatever they want in the schoolyard. When this guy gets out of the, uh, you know, um, the system, then he's going to come back and uh, uh, challenge the other guy. Now, challenging the other guy, uh, in this challenge, you have little people around and they're going to fix their things. They're going to join and they see who's winning and they're going to switch allegiance and so on, alliances and blah, blah, blah. So, you know, it's a, it's a saying that when uh, two elephants are fighting, um, the only one that, uh, or the only one that is uh, hurt is the grass. So the same here. When elephants are fighting, the little ones, oh, they're busy. So they do their things underneath everything. And they hope, you know, they make bets. That guy's going to win. Well, I'm going to make this move. Right, that guy's going to, I'm going to make the other move. So here, as you know, um, President Biden and the United States uh, called uh, uh, Saudi crown prince as a murderer and they accused him of uh, ordering the killing of Kasoji, which was uh, uh, despicable. Uh, but uh, well, they are your allies after all. So nevertheless, they called this guy as they called this guy. He said, okay, now you've called me that way. I'm not going to talk to you. Now the Russian thing happened, Russian Ukraine thing. And now uh, the guys who called you a criminal come and be beg you to give them oil, to put an... Uh, more oil on the market. What do you think the guy's gonna do? Well, if he's not independent and he's a weak individual, yeah, he's gonna do that, but he didn't. So uh, the prince did not, they not even take Biden's calls. 
But moreover, the prince called Putin, discussed nicely, talked the Chinese uh, leader, right? Xi Jinping, okay, talk with that guy, talk with the Indians, talk with the Pakistani. Uh, now they talk with Turkey. So what does it mean? Are these the little people? Because the big ones are busy over there. Uh, they seem to be independent. But when you try to be too independent, sometimes regime change just occurs, you know, by chance. So I'm very, I'm very um, concerned with Prince uh, Salam, not because he's a Salman, not because he's, uh, uh, you know, a saint, but just because Kasoji was killed, possibly from this guy's order. Before that, a day before that, your, the, uh, these countries were friends. Everything was good. You know, business as usual. That murder already made uh, the U U.S. administration think, oh my God, this is a very, very bad dude. Bad regime over there, which, you know, there's a very restricted regime in Saudi Arabia. I don't have to talk about that. But nevertheless, for that murder, a lot of murders occurred. You can look. It's just, this is particular because it was, uh, you know, uh, I don't even know what to say. That's connected with the United States, what's connected with a newspaper in the United States, a big newspaper, you know, uh, and the uh, United States thought that they're going to score some points on this. The problem is they miscalculated that they would they upset the prince, and the prince said, no, I turned off. <coughs> We're not going to do with you anything. Bye-bye. See you next time. So, that's with this. Let's go and see what's going on with this one. You know the Turkey president is traveling to Saudi Arabia to meet uh, King Salman and Crown Prince Mohammed on uh, Thursday, today. Erdogan slammed M MBS uh, over the 2018 Kasoji murder and has struggled to repair relations. Turkey, which has been trying to prosecute Kasoji's killers, recently hand over the case to Saudi Arabia. You know what it is? You guys, you, you, you gonna uh, uh, trial this guy, these guys. So uh, it's done. For one person, countries got upset with one another for four years and more. So um, this is uh, what happens here. And then the, the most of the, the, the um, article talks about Kasoji instead of what, the, what these guys are going to do, the bad dudes, okay? So it says here that uh, um, they tried to ask the Saudis to extradite the, the suspects to Turkey. Uh, the request was denied by the Saudis. The, in turn, Saudi Arabia launched an unofficial boycott on Turkish goods, a move which saw Turkish exports to Saudi Arabia drop more than 90% by March 2022. 2021. The boycott eased in January this January this year. Um, so uh, this is it. It seems like other countries can mend their uh, uh, business uh, in direct conversation without arbiters. You know what I mean? The guys over the Pacific Ocean, that guys, these guys, <laughs> those guys who handle me actually. <laughs> so it's just uh, they have to be controlled. So that tells you what the big guy who for the past 30 years was the only guy in charge in the schoolyard with his gang uh, now is challenged by other club with other two leaders that seem to form another gang, Russia and China. And then you have the little guys looking who's winning, who's not winning, and picking uh, sides or trying to stay neutral until the thing is, you know, they can, um, you know, benefit from both organizations. But you can't really be independent in the schoolyard. You have to be with me, or if you're not with me and you're with the other one, I'm going to get you. And you're going to run quickly to the other guy. Hey, protection, protection. That's how it is. Don't think it's, it's much different than that. We are human. Look at Look at our... Look at our history. Look how humane we are. Do you think we, why, why can't we make it better than, than we did it so far? Is because somehow we made some little mistakes? No, because our abilities are very, you know, limited. And once we, we reach the abilities, then the, our civilization go back into the cycle. That's what happens. 
uh, the utopic thing and everything is, everything is going to be great and fantastic. It's the ceiling of our mental and humane abilities, instincts. We can't go further than that. We are wired the way we are and we can't exceed our, uh, how do you call it, our condition. You can't ask a pig to fly or a pig to be clean. You can't. That's, it's can be as clean as a pig can be. A pig can fly as much as a pig can fly. The same with humans. We can form civilization up to our abilities. And that's it. That's it. Look in the history. Every time it, it went to the highest point as a civilization, then it became soft. It became, you know, complicit. It became, you know, com didn't like uh, you know, to do work, didn't like to do this. And then it dropped again and again and again. It seems like our civilization, at least look at the highest ones uh, currently, the United States is going down. It's going down as a culture. It's going down. It got to Rome, to the level of Rome. You know, when they were eating and throwing up so they can eat more. They were going and uh, going and was just bread and circus. That's what Rome Rome became. And then you, and, and besides that, what happened? The Christianity took over with that philosophy of. Uh, master uh, morality right that was talking about nietzsche's slave morality and master morality and please please uh, read that uh, it's very very uh, revealing so once we got that thing yeah but you can say yeah but you see under the the christian leadership we we had other other um, civilization civilizations you know not really not really uh, when uh, christianity was the basis of certain uh, certain uh, uh, periods in time, we had um, a limited uh, um, uh, civilization. Once we started, you know, thinking outside of the box, like the Renaissance, and then now, the region was put on the second, on the third seat. But nevertheless, I'm not going to go into that. Uh, maybe some other time. Thank you very much for being again with me today. The guys are going to have some party over there in Saudi Arabia. Good for them. Uh, be strong. Stay smart. Look for the truth and be just. See ya.